So Edward, it's a very a big pleasure to interview you. And uh, I want to begin with something that um, I find about you. You you are living a, a trip from your original village to through Slow Food and now to the head of Slow Food. Yeah, um, the first time I left my village to come to uh, to Italy, I was coming for Terra Madre 2008, and I came as a delegate. I went back as an activist. So I started my leadership journey by creating uh, uh, a network uh, of communities, but also creating a convivium and a community to bring people together to discuss about the future of food. And I believe in that the food system, transforming the food system, needs very strong and committed leaders who are young, uh, but also young at heart, uh, even if they are old physically, but young at heart, to look into the future of the food system. And this has always been my inspiration. So right now, as from, the, from a Terra Madre delegate in 2008, I lead the, this great movement that welcomed me with open hands. Do you travel a lot? And I will not say that I travel a lot uh, because uh, I also still have a lot of time to work on my farm, which is an agroecological farm where I stay in Uganda. But I also uh, uh, find time to travel and meet other people, to inspire others, but also to learn and work with others to build the food system together. Because I think that in your position uh, you spoke about food system, but is a is a big system, the slow food system is a really big network that is just not about food, it's, but it's also about, about finding uh, people that want to enter and uh, understand uh, what they can um, uh, bring to yeah. the slow food network. Yes, uh, uh, slow food is very open and inclusive movement that has farmers in the, in the movement, it has universities and uh, academia in the movement politicians, policy makers in the movement, uh, but also other activists and also people who are working in the food industry. So it's also part of my responsibility as a leader to bring these people together, to build a movement because a movement is open to everyone and also to make sure that we meet and discuss the way forward to, for the food system. This is, what, this is what makes a food system. And I go to many meetings, I go to I talk to so many people because to be, to change things, you cannot do it alone. It's not my res only my responsibility as the president of Slow Food to do everything. I need other leaders to move in the same path with me. So this is also part of my responsibility. And when I, uh, 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 p part of my travels is to meet people and bring more people to the movement, but also ask people to commit, to, to pledge to build a better food system. Speaking about your other life as a farmer, do you do your job slow? Yes, as a farmer, it's important that I take care of, the, of nature. Because nature has taken care of me as a farmer. Nature provides me all the fruits that I get from the farm. So I do not farm in a way that destroys nature. I farm in a way that is slow, that is respectful of nature. And this way I farm is agroecological. And this is why Slow Food is also recognizing the work of all farmers who are farming in a slow way. Farmers who are protecting biodiversity, farmers who are supporting local communities have access